let's talk about a little bit about why I like kiting, why I love kiting. Kiting has definitely become my life. It is uh, more than just what I do for a living. It's my passion. Kiting is mainly about uh, the freedom. You can move almost any direction, three-dimensionally, that you want to, and almost as fast as you can make it. Here we are at the end of the earth in Ushuaia, Argentina, the southernmost city in the world, at the tip of the legendary Tierra del Fuego. The next landmass south of here is Antarctica. During our time here, we will find participants, train them, and see who will make it to the exciting season finale in Antarctica, and who will have to stay home. And all of this sets the stage for the kickoff of Planet Snow Kite. While originally inhabited by the Yamana people, Ushuaia's European history began in 1520 with Ferdinand Magellan, who first put this region on the map with the discovery and navigation of what became known as the Magellan Strait. Since then, Ushuaia has endured many changes which have affected its culture and people. It's a town of approximately 46,000 people that enjoys a diverse economy of livestock, commercial fishing, and tourism. With a spectacular natural backdrop and a European style, the town creates a feeling of stepping back into time. Okay guys, let me explain how the competition is going to work. You're going to have three minutes to knock over one of your traditional mates with the trainer kites that you'll be learning on today. You're going to get one chance. The faster you do it, that's what moves you into the next round of the competition and ultimately the final.
thinks he knows what he's doing, and hopefully it's a mistake that works to my advantage. So, you know, let him roll with it. I think he's bullshitting a little bit. I think he's trying to throw me off the track by telling me he's going to get rid of somebody that he's not. Making the call for youth is going to work out for me. I think that that's, that's where it's at. And eye coordination is always better with younger people. Just looking at my own students, I'm not sure it matters what he does. It comes across like it's, it's no big deal or whatever. And, you know, I mean, didn't care who's a player or not a player, you know. I'm pretty much doing the same thing to him that he's doing to me. If he's trying to win, you know, without a doubt. I think we're going to win regardless. The competition is as follows. The students will have to use their skis and snowboards along with their snow kite and maneuver from the starting point here around two flags crossing the field to the finish line. The competition will be timed so the team with the fastest time will win. Never admit it, but he totally f***ed up this morning. Wrong wind, wrong kite, wrong conditions, but he just can't help himself, man. Just gotta get some, you know? He'll never endanger anyone else but himself, but yeah, you know, he's aggressive, you know? He pushes, pushes himself as hard as he pushes everybody else, and that's cool, man. That's all right. Yeah. But you know, I'm one of those people that need two by four therapy. So maybe other people do too. I hit my dad with a 2x4 once. 